What's going on, family? Chris Haskins here. Yes, I'm in Maryland. Maryland. What county is this, Chris? Prince George's. Prince George's County, Maryland. Hanging out with Chris. Chris, you got some big... <laughs> you know what? I want to know what happened right, right here, dog. So, we bought this uh, about four months ago. And it was a complete teardown. We went all the way down to the block. We didn't plan on doing it originally. We thought it was just roof structure. When we took the roof off, we realized down across the front wall and the back wall, the whole sill plate was rotten. It was not even bolted to the foundation. So we ripped that down, went back up. The only thing we saved on the house was this side wall. Walk me through up here. I gotta turn this around. Let me turn this around. Chris, yep. Chris, please walk me yep. through this, dog. The reason I'm here, I want you to see construction in other cities, other states. You know, I'm from Virginia, but I need to learn. I'm still learning, and Chris getting ready to teach me a lesson. Without a doubt, and as I've heard Chris say before, wood is wood. So this house is labor, it's not material. <laughs> <laughs> it's like two by four. Yeah, this two is, by four is a two by four. It's all new. I don't see any old wood, dog. Nope. None. 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 <laughs> Not even the wall. The only thing we say, the block, the porch, and the foundation underneath. Walk me through this, man. What, what, what was going on here? So I want this to... whole front wall, there's two front windows. Okay, I see and that. And a main right. entrance door. All right. This whole roof was falling in. And when we first when we first obtained the house, the front porch was literally leaning this far off the house. Coming this way? Yep, coming out. Because they tore out they tore out the two chimneys that actually supported the ridge of the house. Old technology. Old technology. They took the chimneys out, which caused the roof then basically to fall on itself, pushing the front wall out and the back wall out. Give me a 30 second uh, understanding of the technology about the piers being the yep. chimneys. Yep, so old technology, they would run the rafters straight up and butt up against each other. Uh -huh. And they would support it by just, blocking them in with that chimney. Just like over there, class. Yep. Just like over there. Exactly. Exactly. So when you got it. When we got it, there was no ridge beam. I can't so believe it. So the rafters were sitting on each other, pushing the walls out because the block chimney was not supporting it. I can't believe it, Chris. Yep. Okay, one piece of wood. Uh, yep, we saved the side wall. Okay. Yep, we saved the side wall. Was there a reason for that? There was no need to take it down. The only structural support was the front and the back. Unbelievable. I, I see. You'll be able to see more of it from the inside. Yeah, let's go inside. I see 85. No. I see on the rehab, Chris. Let me see. Let me think. All new inside. All new that. Floor joists. Subfloor. New walls. New front back wall. New roof. New rafters. Let me walk over here. Brand new engineered hard beam going down the ridge beam. I see that an engineered. What is that? A two by? What is that, that is Chris? 13 by three. 13. 34 feet across. One piece of wood. How much? I'm, how much was that? One piece. 800. I see it. That's the ones you see on HGTV all the time. Yeah. Yeah. That's going all the way over? Yeah. In Maryland, the code requires that if you go a span across that. more than 24 feet, yep. you have to have engineered. I think it's less than that in Virginia. Yeah. It has to be because it's going to do, it's going to start moving. It'll start. The previous owner put all the money into a beautiful two car garage. <laughs> they didn't do anything to the house. Unbelievable. I'm seeing 85 more, maybe 90 here. Unreal. Let me just get a snapshot from the back, please. This is unbelievable. Holy cow. So this is almost class. Chris, real quick, tell me about what you did out here before we go inside about raising it up. You see next door, Chris said he did something. You can see the top of the door is only about a top of the door is right to the edge of the house. If you see Chris's, he has about two inches to the top of the door. Go ahead, yeah, Chris. So the original back wall was identical to that house. We opted, since we took the whole roof off and we were putting in all new structural wall on the back, to raise it an additional 24 inches. Mm -hmm. So now we have the headroom even across the house. We're not having the back room yeah. slope off. I see that over here. right. So the headroom the... there is right at 8 feet. I mean, I, I can mean, see it. I barely 8 feet. I can yeah. see it. The top of the yeah. door. Now, did you say your HVAC was supposed to go in today or HVAC what happened? actually finished on Thursday. Okay. 
This is holy cow. Um unbelievable. So I'm walking into what, Chris? You are walking into the kitchen. Nice. Alright. You're walking into a kitchen. You'll have a sink here, countertop cabinet. Yep. And then where you're standing, there's a pantry, a gas burning stove, nice. countertop, refrigerator, and a cabinet. Nice. So, upper and lower. It's already blocked in for the cabinets to go in. Okay. Wash and dryer. Wash and dryer is actually going to go in what is not framed out. Okay. This is going to be a utility closet for hot water, washer, dryer. Back in there, okay. It'll be this corner here. Gotcha. This will be open space. This is going to actually block out to open into the kitchen. So those, those studs are coming out there? So from here to here will now be open coming into the kitchen. Okay. This is a cool floor plan. Did you do this? We hired somebody or what? So the architect? We hired, a, we hired an architect initially to get the building permit, and then I was able to go back and revise it from that. So what we're standing in now is kind of a living space. Yep. Because there's no official living room. Okay. Behind this wall here is a master bed with an ensuite bath. Gotcha. And a closet. Master suite. You better have that. Yep. Unreal, man. This is unreal. Now you changed it from a what to a what, Chris? We changed this from a two one, two bath one or two bed one bath into a three bed two full bath. Nice. So from the master, this was the front door where we were out front. Mm -hmm. You come into this front door. You have a master bed to here. Yes, sir. You have a first bedroom there. Okay. What we're doing here is we're doing a Jack and Jill style bathroom. Okay. So they would actually have a pocket door here to enter the bathroom. Okay. The next bedroom on the other side will have a pocket door to enter it. Nice. This is bathroom well, here. As well as right door here. entry for common. Okay. Look at bathroom. these beams. This is beautiful. Engineered. This is not cheap. Chris. So I'll let you go. If you oh want to go up the ladder, you can see the brand new HVAC that was just put in. Oh my lord. You got some money in here, my friend. That is nice. I see one, two walls here. Old wood. I yep. always tell old wood it's gonna be darker than new wood. I wish you could have got something up here. Would have been nice. It would have been nice. The, the issue with this neighborhood, even though we probably could have squeezed another bed or another bed bath or maybe even two bed up there, uh -huh. the comps in this neighborhood would just wouldn't justify the investment. Where's your ARV here? 240 to 260. On a 3-2. On a 3-2, yep. I'm hearing sirens the entire time I've been here, Chris. Is that indicative of this area or what? It's not of this area. It's actually Saturday afternoon, springtime. We're about a half mile off the DC Beltway. And I was actually late coming here. Traffic is bonkers. So this is, I'm seeing 80, I'm seeing 90 in here, man. Well, yep. Yeah, 90 probably. Yep, you're at about 84, 80, 84 to 86. Yep. Is it including appliances? You're going to do stainless steel? Yeah, we're doing stainless steel. We're at 1850 right now on appliance. Okay. All right. That's yep. right. So did that 80, so 86, how did, I, how did, how did your boy know? <laughs> how did your boy know? I, I mean, this is how I it mean, works. The, the numbers are in the math of what you're doing. Um, you can, you can go through and take square footage. We all said that two by four, two by four, nah, man. but it just doesn't that work. Don't that work. Way. Don't work, man. It doesn't work that way. Um, the no smartest thing work. we did on this project, which is a testament to this is this is my second flip my third investment uh we actually rehab not completely gutted a house right down the street about a year and a half ago okay in the same street the same street okay yeah, huh. same street we kept looking at this house and looking at this house and it kept falling apart falling apart from other investors um, or just you talking about the condition of it the condition of this house it just kept deteriorating but we couldn't find any information. We contacted the owner, uh, had no response, no response. And um, it actually showed up in November as a short sale. They owe too much. Yep. Pick so, yeah. So we contacted the attorney who was actually handling the foreclosure of what was about to uh, you know, happen. Yeah. And uh, nice. It took about 45 days to settle on it. Nice. But, um, That's it, a good deal. Yep. Yeah. And you, what's your purchase price? Purchase is 105. 105 plus 100, yeah. So, 
240. That's a tight one, man. It's we tight. Tell, yeah. You it's got 20,000 in fees. Are you getting any discount on realtor fees? We are. We actually, uh, the agent who assisted me with the purchase, it was an ML listed, MLS listed property yeah. uh, as a short sale. Um, he's actually doing 2% on his side. That's cool. Yep. So we're, we're right now, we're at about 16000 in closing costs. To sell? Yep. So you're using your own cash? Correct. Okay. Wait, yep. See, cost of the money is another expense that people generally have to worry about, Chris. I'll be honest with you. Right now, if we were at hard money, we'd be upside down. Yeah, you'd be done. We'd be done. We'd be done. Yep. But I'm not mad at you for at least getting out here and trying, dog. I mean, yep. you're at least pushing the buttons. Exactly. Look at this all new wood. Did you know this we is going to be the, the magnitude? We knew the roof was coming off. Um, Unbelievable. We got three initial quotes on the roof, but when we got into tearing the roof off and tearing the walls, what were, it was a shell, but you couldn't see because there was subfloor. Mm -hmm. When we got down under the subfloor and saw that it was rotten, it was cheaper. It sounds crazy. It was cheaper to tear it down and just rebuild it. I bet. It was just cheaper. We would have spent yeah, more time in here trying to build it and bring it back. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. So all new electric just started yesterday. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. So I'm eating. Is this where I'm going to be eating here with my table? Yeah. So you don't have a dinette here, kind you know, of living space here. You're going to drop a chandelier or something there? <laughs> Possibly, because actually when we built this back wall up, and this was an afterthought of design, we are actually going to keep this ceiling pitched just for the overall look to make it feel bigger. Yeah, that's Instead a good idea. going eight feet across made no sense. We're going to keep it open. That's a good idea. Yeah. Wow, this is unbelievable. What would you like to just say, Chris, for people getting in the game, think they're going to go spend 20, 30,000 on a renovation? And this didn't, no doubt, when you bought it, didn't look like 85,000. Oh, of course not. It yeah, never of looks. Not. Of course not. We were at, we were talking about appliances when we first bought the house. And we were so far away from appliances, that was three months ago. We're not even at appliances yet. Yeah, yeah that's, that's I mean, the, the, My honest thing is, find a couple guys that you know, that you're willing to work with. Mm -hmm. if, if they're afraid to show you the numbers, talk to somebody else. Yeah. You know, I mean. It starts with the numbers. Yeah, it starts with the numbers. And I'm still adjusting numbers. I have a spreadsheet. Um, <laughs> it I never mean, changes. I'm, I'm always adjusting. Uh, our initial plumber, I'll tell you, did not get this contract because he actually came in almost three thousand dollars above what we had budgeted for oh, and that yeah. was based on his quote he came back came out and said oh no 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 it's gonna be about three thousand dollars more than he quoted well, let's you know what let's stay here for a minute chris i want yeah. to talk to you about the terracotta piping that i saw outside can you uh -huh. give me the story on that outside yeah I would say yes. You're getting a real seminar my friend yeah. welcome to the hard knocks yeah what we got out here so, Why do we have a hole here, first of all? So, our initial, the initial architect... I'm listening. Yeah. So, we were concerned because of the structural integrity of the property. We were afraid that the actual original foundation was not going to be able to support what we were about to put back on top of it. Hence, Hence we structure dug engineer. Down, stuck... We ended up digging down to see how far down it actually went. Put it. Yep. I'm surprised they didn't require you to do that to get the drawing submitted. They will. In this county of Maryland, I'm I'm learning that you better do what you say you're going to do because they don't necessarily always ask you for it before you apply for it. But when they come out to inspect it, it did better you get it? be what did you, you do it? Did. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. And I'll tell you, I'll, I'll be honest with you too. This. this project, when I was saying that we tore out the front wall, back wall, yeah. we actually had a 30 day stop work order on this property. Damn. Because I, as the investor, said it's wrong, tear it down and fix it. But that was not in our original scope of work that we were permitted for. Two days after we did it, the inspector comes out, slaps wow. a red sticker on the property, tells everyone to vacate, made us go back and re pull plumbing, electrical, mechanical, Unbelievable. before he released us to work on the property. It was a waste of 36 days. Unbelievable. Yep. So this terracotta piping, did was this yep. after? T tell me about this terracotta. Was this something that you did or that was just in the ground? That was in the ground. You lucky. Yep. That was in the ground. <laughs> okay. I thought this was ripped out. Yep. Nope. That was in the ground. So we got a good 
You got you, um, it looks like you got a uh, galvanized here. Yep. We need to inspect. Okay, somebody already replaced it. Correct. You lucky, so, Chris. So we have brand new WSSC, which is the local water service provider here, that is right in the driveway, comes right into the side of the house. We From actually, wh that's what you. That's the water service. I'm saying uh, you didn't have to take care of that. Somebody no, already did that. That's already there. Thanks. So God. what our plumber's concern was is we actually just ordered on Thursday. Um, uh, miss utility to mark to mark the entire property because originally they do have gas service uh -huh. but we don't know where it's coming in yeah we haven't found a meter we found a water meter but we're having them come out it's a free service you call yeah. that 800 number yeah they come out every utility in the area yeah. uh, the electric has already contacted us said it's no problem numbers yeah. what did you think the rehab was going to be chris walking in the door the last one i thought was going to be 37 ended up being 52 so we were budgeting to be between 50 and 65. Okay. That's where that number, that sweet spot, 70% rule was yep. right there between 50 and 60. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we did a couple things that beyond the scope of work that it didn't cost us as far as time. Yeah. Because there were certain things we couldn't do, but it cost us in our initial plan we're now telling an electrician you can't do anything yet you're telling plumber you can't do anything yet wow because you're still trying to manage the budget understanding you're now 15 to twenty thousand past where you expected to be that's right you got to be willing to adapt yep. seems like you got a good adaptability quotient chris you're not i don't see you like getting emotional and getting upset is that are you just over that or what no i was never emotional or upset it's actually i couldn't buy this education yeah i am I've been adamant about it in business. <clears throat> I might be too hands-on on certain projects, uh -huh. but I need to know how to do it. Yeah. If I don't know how to do it, I can't tell a contractor not to do something if I don't know how they're supposed to do it. You're daggone right. You know, that's a problem with investors though, Chris. We have to know a little bit about electrical, plumbing, flooring, framing, you name it, tight. But some of the best <laughs> stock investors in the world, you think they invest in the stock without doing their due diligence to figure out about what they're gonna invest in. You're right. Do your homework of what you're getting into. Do your homework. Okay. All right, class. Subscribe. Chris Haskins. Um, I'm up here in Maryland. I got a few more stops to bring you to, and I'll talk to you shortly. Peace.